room, like a Maybe where somebody has. <gasps> Before we start the video, we'd like to thank every single one of you who's taken part in our Typhoon Odette raffle for a cause. Because of you, we have donated a total of 10,541 pesos and 84 centavos to those affected by the typhoon through Kids for Kids Philippines. We truly couldn't have done it without you. Among all our raffle participants, we have randomly chosen three winners through three different digital roulettes. Congratulations to everyone! Once again, thank you so much for holding the ropes for those affected by the recent typhoon. Your generosity will never be forgotten. As always, spread the love and God bless. Hi, I'm Madison. I'm Jeff. And we're from Pennsylvania. Hi, my name is DeAndre. Instagram, nope. <laughs> Hi, my name is DeAndre. <laughs> Do it again. Hi, my name is DeAndre. Instagram at DeAndre Wilcox. TikTok at DeAndre Wilcox HS. My name is Jason. Instagram is Jason Baker Jr., but spelled out the junior. I don't really have anything else like that. <laughs> well, Snapchat is a shawty. We're from Jacksonville, Florida. Hi, I'm Layla. I'm from Detroit, Michigan. And you guys can follow me on Instagram at Layla.Hassel. Hey, I'm Elijah. I'm from California, LA. You can follow me on Instagram at E dot underscore dot ben. Hello, I'm Tyler. I'm Isaac. And we are from the channel Trifate. Actually, it's two channels. We have Trifate and Trifate Lifestyle, one which we react to a lot of different music, including Filipino music, and our second channel where we react to a bunch of different countries, including Filipino culture. We taste tested some Jollibee. We are learning more and more about the Philippines every day. We're from Minnesota, the United States. We're invited to play this game. It should be interesting. You think we would have picked up on some words by now, but... Uh, uh, that will be put to the test today. <laughs> let, let's see these. Ref. <laughs> that could mean referee. I said that means reference. <laughs> <laughs> that could mean rev, reverend. Yeah. That could mean pastor, some kind of clergy of some sort. Any other guesses? I want to say it has something to do with stop. Okay. Like, like referee, team. stop the game. Yes. No. <laughs> F-T-O-P, stop in general. Ref, what do you think it means? Um. Maybe it means... A color, maybe red. Huh? Red. <laughs> I think it means dinner. You want to move first. <laughs> Damn. Maybe it's like referral. Like you know, like a riff when you sing. Well, that's hard. <laughs> yeah, maybe they just spell it a bit different. We didn't say that. Uh, no, but it it looks an awful lot like that, it doesn't, does, it? doesn't it? Ref. Obviously, if you were to go English, it would be yeah. like referee, like short for referee, someone who would officiate something. But it could also be short for reference. It but might it might be a different language and it might mean something else. <laughs> that is very possible. <laughs> it's gotta be reference, right? <laughs> could also be the noise a dog makes. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> reference. Reference. Let's do it. Re refrigerator. refrigerator. This is Filipino <laughs> English. So these are like English, English. words. Okay. Ref refrigerator. Refrigerator. We can steal I gotta go on a ref. Oh, oh. That's that makes weird, sense. But, like, that's refrigerator Wait. in English. That makes sense. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. I never heard that one. Right. Fridge. We were Fridge. really close. Oh. Refrigerator. Oh, interesting. Ref. So instead of oh, instead of fridge, uh, we were on the abbreviation path, but almost. We are almost there. We didn't make it far enough. So you just have to. It's like when you go to England and they're like, "Oh, we're gonna go to the loo." You just go. Gonna go to the ref and get some adobo. All right, next. <laughs> tomboy. I think tomboy. that means tomboy. Tomboy, like you're, uh, you know, tomboy, like a, you know, like a more masculine nice. woman. Okay. Yeah, tomboy. I feel like it has something to do with like a food or something. Okay. See, I'm thinking like transportation of some kind, like a train. For some reason, I was getting trained from that. You know? Is it because Tom? Tom is the train. <laughs> <laughs> We yeah. done got all the way off the this <laughs> Tomboy? Doesn't this mean like right? somebody who's like boyish? In English it does. Oh, true. I don't know. I guess a cat. A cat? A cat. A tomboy? I can't even think of anything. I'm going to say it means boyish. I don't know. Tomboy? Tomboy. Do we all know it? Tomboy? Like a girl who's like boyish. But it can't mean what we think it means. Oh, probably. So maybe somebody who like plays the toms. Please, I'm going with a girl who is like boyish. You, Tom? Yeah, I'm going with. Right. 
tomboy. Okay, in the United States, that would mean a girl that likes to do guy things. Yeah, yeah. So does it mean the same thing? I don't know! <laughs> Whoa! Tomboy, maybe in this one, it's somebody that's named Tom. And they're a boy? I'm a genius. Yeah. Tomboy, that could be it. That's a solid or answer. maybe it's some sort of vehicle. They're like, oh, I'm gonna go get in the Tomboy. They got their cheap knees and their Tomboys. Maybe. I might just say like a farmer. A farmer? Yeah. Okay, yeah, it could be a farmer. Let's see. A lesbian? Exactly. <laughs> 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 I'm trying to get a fix yeah, well, um, Not trying to get canceled. Exactly. A lesbian. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if it's a lesbian. Okay, so Philip English is a lesbian. Interesting. I did not expect that. Oh, wait. Oh, oh. It's, it's lesbian. Okay. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> well, that works. CR. CR? CR. Please guess first and see what the acronym means on the next slide. Yeah, credit, reversal. Reversal. credit reversal. Credit rating. Nobody said it. <laughs> I say that. Um, I'm so country. Clock rotation. <laughs> All right, that's a good one. That's a good one. I know. Post reading. Okay. Closed refrigerator. What could CR mean? China Republic? I don't know. Saying the Chinese Republic. That makes sense. I'll guess it too. CR. I'm trying to think of where it's like. <laughs> Copyright? Guys, I'm a music major, I'm sorry. CR? I'm like... <laughs> 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 CR? CR? You know the game Incoherent? CR? Oh my god. CR? Um, Costa Rica? Croatia? Philippines! We went straight for country. <laughs> Centrifugal reduction? Uh-huh. Central Republic? Confidential restitution? Mmm. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know what the, what the acronym. I cannot think of a single thing. I can't even think of like simple words. I keep using unnecessarily long words <laughs> in my head. Cat rat. Cat rat. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it means a rat that likes to do cat things. I feel like it's gonna be something super simple. I know. Car repair. Car repair. That might be. That's Car, repair. Car repair. Car repair. Comfort room. Comfort room. Comfort room. Comfort room. I'm so smart, guys. Like, did you see me guess that? Uh, <laughs> Comfort room, like a school. Maybe where somebody has. <gasps> I like thought about it. I was like the same space, and I was like, oh. I think it is provocative. Yeah, I think it has something to do with the Let's dirty. See. Can we get some detail on what a comfort room? <laughs> That's like a living room, like a den. Comfort room. Okay. Is that the living room? Yeah, that could be the living room. Could also be like a like entertainment type room, like a man cave type thing, or like a game room. I think living room would make the most sense. Yeah. Because that's where the most like uh, couches are. Living room. Comfort room. Same thing. I think maybe, hopefully, let's see, let's next. See. <laughs> oh, like the restroom. Comfort room. Restroom? Oh! Restroom or washroom. I guess those are comfortable. I stay in the restroom. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, hey, hey, guys. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what that. It means restaurant or washroom. Wow, we were not even close. Interesting. Okay. We th we're terrible at this. Yeah, yeah, we're very bad. Napkin. What if this don't mean? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's like the restaurant. Cloths. Yeah. You know what I mean? Maybe they got technical yeah. the definition. Maybe it's napping for children. Nap napkin. Kindergarten. Nap time. Nap, nap time for <laughs> kindergarten. Hello! <laughs> napkin. Oh, that's like a tissue what? to them, right? I guess. Napkin. It has to be something different. Maybe like a sock. Because that's a blanket. I'm going to say blanket. Go sock. Napkin. Toilet paper. Yeah, let's go with toilet paper. Oh, napkin? I could have guessed that. She's really good. Yo, when times get rough, all my ladies in the <laughs> <laughs> Oh, pad. that's a regular. Yeah, so dumb. So like a pad. Yeah. Napkin. These are not ours. Menstruation. Those are tampons. Sanitary pad used for feminine hygiene. Oh. oh. Zero for four. We were close. We were close. The same region. It's the same region. The same region. The, the nether region. Posters, you know, like somebody who works in a restaurant. That's what it means in American English. 
Christmas. I feel like this has something to do with a counter or like a table. Okay. Okay. Or like a certain room in the house. I know what it means to us, but I think that's now I feel like it means they stay with a family or stay with a person and then that person who takes them into the house for a certain amount of time yeah. might be the hostess. Yeah. You know what I mean? Hostess. Oh, this is at a restaurant. Um, I guess so we think. I feel like a receptionist. Oh, that's a good one. Hostess. This is pretty rock it is. Mm, I actually think it's just a hostess. I don't think it's just a hostess. It's just, pretty rock it Like somebody is in charge of a restaurant or something. Hostess? Oh no. Uh, All right, let's think in our brain. So it could be someone like at a restaurant. Mm -hmm. Could be the brand of pastries. Uh huh. That's all I got in the bank, and it's probably gonna be something completely different. Yep, probably. Maybe they call their hostesses like the waitress is a hostess instead of like the person that leads mm -hmm. you to your table. Yeah, because they're hosting your meal. That's the let's, best let's, I let's got. Let's go with it. <laughs> okay. A prostitute. Well, that's a bit different. Oh my gosh. Ah! <laughs> what did I say? Okay. Yes, um, a widely used euphemism in the Philippines for a prostitute. You know what? That's kind of I can hear it. You know what? I can hear it. It's making sense. Yes, absolutely. It's making sense. Hostess. Hostess. <laughs> okay. Hostess. You're a f***ing hoe. <laughs> wow. Oh. We are so off on these. Like, not even close. Yeah. I guess that just shows you slang is super weird. Because, like, even just UK, US, very similar cultures, you could say. But the slang, nothing lines up. Bird, a girl who you trying to date. You know what's crazy? My dad's side of that family. Mm -hmm. Does he like bird? Oh yeah, this is a little bird. Yeah, my daddy people probably be saying that too, cause they're from New Jersey. That might mean like girl who you trying to get with. Maybe plane. It might be bird. I'm saying you know plane. what I mean? Like plane. Like big. All right, now this is throwing me. Chicken? Maybe it's know, like, like the word, meat? like the word for like They're gonna eat a chicken? lady, like a female. <laughs> oh, a hot person. Oh, you know? No, but that's what they say on Love Island. <laughs> She's a bird. Come sit with the bird. She's a bird. That's like, She's so far. I'm gonna say it's a pony. Yeah, I'm gonna be like somebody attractive. Bird. bird. Is it like flipping the bird? Yeah. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> what a bird be. It's a birdie. A shuttlecock? Mm -hmm. It's a bird. Maybe the it's not the phrase, it's just bird. They just call it a bird. Drop it a deuce. Yeah, I'm gonna bird you. Don't bird me, please. <laughs> I don't want you to do that. Are you serious? <laughs> right in front of my salad? That's the only thing I'm thinking of right now is dropping a deuce. I have a feeling it has some sort of like more vulgar meaning than we think. <gasps> ah! Oh. Close in again. the region. We're really good at the <laughs> nether region. I don't. Why are you going like in the region? Penis. Wait, this is hilarious. Okay. We were so wrong. <laughs> I want to find a Filipino person yeah. and say. I don't know why. I just like birds. Are y'all serious? <laughs> I ain't never heard of that. An informal term for a man's penis. I have never heard that. I will never say never. <laughs> One for foxes. Yeah, I've never heard anybody call it their bird. <laughs> my bird. It should be a Chris. Okay, I've never once thought of mine as a bird. Me neither. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see that. <laughs> bird. Bird. Nosebleed. A period. A period. No matter what the story is. We're on the sex thing, so I'm gonna say I was gonna period. say it's like the high up seats. But that's how it is here. Yeah. You know what's crazy? I never get this in. Like, people say, oh, I don't want the nosebleed seats. Oh, nosebleed about, seats. Okay. Are they talking about the one that said the top? Yeah, one? like way at the top. Because, okay. you know, when you get high altitudes, you get nosebleeds. Like, if you climb a mountain. I feel like this is a term for a female that's on her menstrual cycle. Menstrual cycle. Period. Pink. <laughs> Maybe it means to get, like, punched in the face. Nosebleed. Maybe it's like a sauce. What that? Nosebleed. <laughs> But that don't relate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not at all. Nosebleed. We in the nosebleed. The ghetto. Da, 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 da. Is a nosebleed like when somebody's attractive? Doesn't it mean like somebody's like. Yeah, attractive? and it makes you like. Yeah, it doesn't, isn't that Like, hey, she a nosebleed. That's what I think it is. A it's nosebleed? Something that makes you get like, a nosebleed. Damn, that's cool. Like, damn, that's, that's a nosebleed. 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 Is it. 
when there isn't a napkin in the nose. I know, that, that's, a, that's immediately what I thought. <laughs> it definitely could be. It's very possible. It could also just be completely different. Nosebleed maybe it could be like diarrhea. I'm just really- Really bloody diet. Like you had a lot of spicy mm -hmm. food and it's not yeah. holding back. Did you guys hear that? I'm scared. Um, Should we go with blood or poop? Yeah, let's go with the first guess. Okay. Well, oh, please don't be that. Maybe like when they're overwhelmed? I guess. And they're having like a brain fart. Give me so this whole video. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't speak English well and somebody says something complex in English to you, then you say nosebleed? Not like headache. <laughs> Not like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nosebleed. Again. So like when you say like English sentence? Nosebleed. Damn, I was gonna okay, say something. Let's like try that. it. You say a deep English sentence. What's some Shakespeare? Well, uh, Romeo, Romeo. <laughs> Romeo. Romeo. Nosebleed. Nosebleed. I get it. I'm gonna use that now. Yeah. That's like a thing. So we were not even close. No. Not any nether region one. It was more of the refrigerator style. Yeah. One. Due to various foreign influences, such as trade, colonization, and occupations throughout the Philippines' history, the country has incorporated a plethora of words from around the world, including American English. This was made possible through the United States' 48-year-long colonization of the island nation. As years passed, these words that have been incorporated to the Filipino language have either remained or evolved in its meanings. But as an American, what are your thoughts after hearing the meanings of these Filipino English words that have American English origins? Some of them, like, I do not no understand. Sense at all. But others of them were very similar. And that was confusing because we were guessing things that were, like, so off. Yeah, like, oh. <laughs> like, that was so funny. But thanks for having us. I thought it was interesting how certain words, bird. like bird, <laughs> they have like completely different meanings in yeah. English, but I feel like Filipino English use is more creative in a way. Like I feel like it's like a secret thing. Yeah. I think it's really creative in a way. I'm definitely stealing nosebleed. Yeah, nosebleed is a good word. Nosebleed will be used by me. Yeah, I, I like nosebleed. Hostess, I feel like that is similar to English. Really Comfort cool. room. Is I think what made yeah. my mind yeah. guess provocative. Yeah, I didn't expect yeah, that. In my mind, it was just but scary. I guess like when you think about it, the bathroom is kind of like a comfort. It's fun. It is really interesting. It's very interesting because language is such a like unique concept, and it's very hard to understand in and of itself. Yeah. And then when you get like throw slang into everything, it's like whoa. You're like even in the different. U.S. There's different regions of the U.S. Mm -hmm. Like we're up from the north, and people in the south call the same things different things. Yeah, we say pop, they say soda. Yeah. Like it's it, it's language is very interesting. It is, and seeing some of these, you would not think a bird was a wanker. No. You wouldn't think a napkin was a toodaloo. The Philippines, it obviously makes sense that there's like so many different like possible slang words because there's so many different languages mixed. Halo halo. Anyways, that was really interesting. Very interesting. Agreed. I now know things that I will never forget sometimes. Like now I feel like I'm gonna start saying no to leave you. <laughs> what was the one? Bird. Yeah, bird <laughs> definitely. I kind of got on Felipe about it. I was like, don't call them birds. But I guess, I don't know. Like, I feel like I don't have many connections to Filipino culture, nor have I been to the Philippines. They don't really teach you much about Filipino culture in school. And so unless you pick it up secondhand like this, you don't really hear about it. At all. But um, sad. yeah, it's, it's sad. I didn't realize it was so closely related to American culture, though. It's cool to know. Thank you for the opportunity. See you guys.